Chapter 5. Directed Acyclic Graph Git is built on the combination of two concepts, and you're probably already somewhat familiar with both of them. The first concept is the so-called DAG, which stands for Directed Acyclic Graph. A graph, in computer science and mathematics alike, is a structure in which we can store not only information, but also relationships between that information. You may have heard of Facebook's social graph, which holds information about Facebook's users, but also information about the relationships between those users. Alice, Bob, Tony, Jim and Sandra are all Facebook users. In addition, Alice is a friend of Bob. Bob's father is Tony. Tony works at McDonald's. Jim and Sandra also work at McDonald's. We call this sort of data structure a graph. The users themselves are the nodes of the graph. Each node holds the data for one user. The relationship between users or the edges of the graph. If we visualize this structure, the users and nodes of the graph would be represented by points or little circles. The relationship between the users or edges of the graph would be lines that we draw between the users to show how they are connected to each other. Git stores its data in a graph structure, but not one like Facebook's social graph where connections can go all over the place and in all directions. Instead, it uses a directed acyclic graph, or DAG, which imposes two additional constraints on the graph. Directed means that relationships or edges are one way only. In Facebook's graph, Alice is a friend of Bob, and Bob can also be a friend of Alice. This makes the relationship or edge between them bidirectional. In other words, it's like a two-way street. In a directed graph, like Git uses, this is not allowed. The edges are only ever going in one direction, like a river. Acyclic means that there can be no loops in the graph. In Facebook's graph, Alice is a friend of Bob. If Bob is a friend of Jim, and Jim in turn is a friend of Alice, this creates a loop, like a roundabout. In an acyclic graph, like Git uses, this is not allowed. You can create as many relationships or edges you want, but when they reconverge, they can only ever do so downstream from the direction of a graph, once again, like a river. So to summarize, a DAG, or directed acyclic graph, is a graph where edges go in one direction only, directed, and no loops are allowed, acyclic. Like a river, a DAG can split into many branches. Each of those branches can further split, or they can join another branch further downstream. But no matter how intricate a river delta gets, we can never go backwards. We can never branch off and then somehow reconnect to a point before the one where we branched off from to form a loop. Water cannot run uphill. If you can remember that, you know what a DAG is. And once you know what a DAG is, it's easier to think about your data in Git. All your changes are right there, each version of your work represented by a note in the graph. The question that remains is, how does Git keep track of the edges or the relationship between the nodes? So let's look at that in the next chapter.